Hi, I'm Laura Batante and this is my YouTube channel, My Two Bits. Thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to make this really adorable little chipmunk, which I think is just perfect for Thanksgiving. Alright, well the first thing you're going to want to do is go to my website, My Two Bits, and download the template. You don't need the template per se, you could always do the face and arms yourself, but if you want to make it easy on yourself, this would be a great way to do it and it's free. So um, when you print off the PDF, it's not going to go right to the edge. So if you're working on a piece of eight and a half by 11 cardstock, um, put your ruler down and just cut right to the end and the measurement will be fine. And if you're doing it with kids and you're going to cut these out, it doesn't matter if the tail is a quarter of an inch shorter than uh, I suggested it really doesn't make a big difference the tail is actually pretty huge so um, yeah just gonna lay it down on the cardstock and give it a cut and like I said if you're doing it with kids and they're using scissors uh, no problem you can easily uh, just have them cut that out with their scissors there we go and I've already cut all of the other pieces out, so we are ready to start. I should just quickly go over the materials list. Um, you need brown cardstock, you're going to need a little bit of beige paper, and you are going to need well, basically a half of a toilet paper roll. And then I find paper clips are super helpful for holding stuff together when you've glued it. And you'll need some a glue stick, and of course you'll need scissors. And I think that's it. So we're going to get started by wrapping uh, brown cardstock around a toilet paper roll, which I've cut off. Um, if you want to do this with younger kids and you want to make it just a smidge easier, 100% you could do it full size for a toilet paper roll and then literally have them glue the paper right onto the toilet paper roll. That would make it a little bit easier. Um, clearly the chipmunk would be a little taller, but there's no reason why it wouldn't work. I mean, you would just have a little bit longer body and yeah, that's about it. So it, it would still be fine. And um, if that's what you'd like to do, then just disregard the three by six inch measurement here and wrap your toilet paper roll to whatever size that is. All right, so uh, sometimes when I'm doing something like this and I need to let it sit for a little bit uh, to dry, I'll just put a paper clip on to help hold it closed and and let it sit for a bit all right well the next thing that we need to do is make the face and um, it's uh, pretty easy to do I like to place the nose first and then we need to do the teeth and as is always the case when you're creating a little character, um, the facial features are what add all the um, character to them. So if you want to make smaller teeth, cut smaller teeth. If you want to um, make them crooked, put them wide apart, put them close together, uh, make his nose bigger or smaller, um, go ahead and do that. That's the fun part is sort of developing the character. So um, I have a very tiny hole punch, which I love, that looks like this. If you don't have that, then just grab a, grab a Sharpie and draw the eyes on because uh, you wouldn't be able to cut this small. This is very tiny and it would be super frustrating but there's no reason why you can't just draw on the eyes all right so the face is done and we're just gonna uh, let that dry for just a little bit so that we don't pop off the nose and teeth when we're trying to glue it on here because we do need to give it a little bit of a bend for it to fit around so like I said we'll just let that dry for a little bit and then we'll come back and we'll attach so what I've done is I have just um, kind of encouraged it to bend a little 
before I attempt to glue it on. And uh, we're going to put the glue on the back of the head. Find our seam in the back. And there you go. We're going to put it on there nice and straight. And now, if you're using uh, cardstock, which I have done before, this little guy here, his the beige is cardstock. Um, you might want to take a strip of paper. Um, do I have a strip of paper? Well, I'll, I'll, I'll pretend with this, and wrap it all the way around the face, all the way around to the back, and then it should overlap, and you and tape it, and that will just help hold it in place up against, you know, flat against the um, toilet paper roll while you let it dry. But for this uh, paper, which is much easier to work with, it shouldn't be a problem as long as you got a good amount of glue on there. Okay, so we are like flying along. There's not much left to do. We're going to do the ears and then we are going to do the hands and the tail and that is it and you're done and you can move on to the next one. I'm sure you're going to want to make a set for the dinner table. <laughs> so I just glue that on however I think looks good. Um, again ears are another way to add some character so you can put them close together or far apart, whatever you like. And I have given, you see that I made it very long. That's because I wanted to give it lots of surface area to have actually attached. We don't want the ears falling off. So I'm just going to pop them in there and then we'll place them however we think looks good. So you can see you can have them nice and close or you can spread them out a bit. I like them spread out a little bit. And I don't worry about having them the same height because again I think that adds a little character if it's not really even. None of us are even. so. There we go, looking good. So for the arms, we are going to need to draw on, I used a brown felt pen, but if you have black, you could use black. Um, I just drew those finger lines on. Well, you do want to make sure that your hands are facing, you know, opposite direction before you draw the hands on. You don't want to have lines on the same side. Um, that will determine, of course, which side of the body they attach to. Now, when I attached mine, I wanted them to be up fairly high so that if he was holding a sign, it would actually be floating in the air, but not so high that it was completely covering his face. So it doesn't matter. You decide where you want to put them. And then I put a little bend in his hands to help hold the card. So we'll put some glue down and then find center sort of again. And what I love about a glue stick is the way it kind of will hold in place for you while you're figuring things out and you can still move move it around. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. And um, we're going to have to let those dry before we want to start putting the tail on. So the tail is maybe the trickiest bit and it's not very tricky. So there you go. We're just going to fold up a section and I don't know, that's like a centimeter or so or half an inch and we're going to glue that on 
underneath. And that's one of those situations where you might want to put a paper clip on and let it dry for a little bit. Okay, well, I haven't let mine um, dry for very long, so <laughs> I hope it stays. Um, so I'm going to uh, create a bit of a curve at the back like that. So this is where I've decided I'm going to apply my glue. And I'm going to apply a fair amount of glue, and probably a little more there. And, and then I'm going to attach that like so. And I'm going to paper clip on either side. Because I don't want it to like dry all crooked, so. There we go. All right, so the the last thing we need to do um, is curl the tail, and I've left the paper clips on because, as usual, I have no patience, and um, I just like to keep moving along. So all I do is I just very gently curl it around a pencil or pen, and I haven't done it tight, as you can see, because you don't want to crinkle the paper. You don't want to have a bunch of bends in it. You want it to be smooth. So there you go. And when I take these off, okay, fingers crossed. I'm going to hold it while I do this. I'm just going to give that a little bend with my fingers too. And there you go. He's done. And um, what I did here on this finished fellow was I took my white gel pen and I just gave him a little highlight on his nose. Um, pen's going to die on me right there of course. There we go. Um, but if you don't have a gel pen it you know it's no big deal. Um, so then finally and I have a little row of them now. Uh, if you want to use it as a place card holder this is like a just a piece of card stock. It's about one by three and you can put a name on it and stick it at each person's uh, table setting or you can just make him into a little centerpiece guy with a cute little happy Thanksgiving sign. Whatever you want to do. I hope you enjoyed making this craft and if you did I hope that you will give me a like or subscribe to my channel. I have lots more videos coming up.